Then the disciples of John reported to him concerning these things, concerning what things? Concerning some of the miracles that Jesus had been working, the raising of the dead and various things. And John, calling two of his disciples to him, sent them to Jesus saying, are you the coming one or do we look for another? And when the men had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you saying, are you the coming one or do we look for another? And that very hour, he cured many of infirmities, afflictions, and evil spirits. And to many blind, he gave sight. Jesus answered and said to them, go and tell John the things you have seen and heard, that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the gospel preached to them, and blessed is he who is not offended because of me. Mm. Jesus gave them a display of power. He demonstrated the workings of God that were being wrought through him so that they could take that testimony, that eyewitness account, back to John and declare to him that the work that the Messiah had come to do was in fact being done in and through Jesus Christ, that John might be assured of the truth that he had already spoken. Now, Jesus makes the comment right here, blessed is he who is not offended because of me. Now, I need to say something because we live in a world, we live in a time We live in a society where to stand for Christ, to stand for truth, to stand for the word of God as the word of God that has authority is offensive to many people. And when we take that stand for truth, when we take that stand for righteousness, no matter how winsome, no matter how loving, no matter how kind we are, the reality is there will be people that we offend. It's just the truth. And there is a temptation that comes upon many Christians to downplay or soft pedal or maybe brush aside those more offensive aspects of the gospel. And when we do that, we are demonstrating that we are offended because of him. And Jesus said, blessed are those who are not offended because of me. In other words, when others become offended with you, do not allow that to make you offended with Jesus. Amen? But let's be willing to be judged harshly. Let's be willing to be rejected. Let's be willing, dare I say it, to be canceled on Twitter. But when we stand for truth, we have to accept the fact that there are going to be some who are offended by us. However, as I have said and will continue to say, when we stand for the truth, let's remember that it is offensive enough by itself without us speaking it in an offensive way. So let's speak the truth, church, but let's speak the truth in love. Amen?